I'm mad. I feel betrayed. This isn't what's supposed to happen. Hi everyone. Um, today, I will be explaining the biggest question I have been seeing for months now. Um, I don't know where to start, to be honest with you, because well, I'm doing this video very impromptu. I just want to talk to you like... I just want to talk to you one-on-one, um, -on -one, like my bestie, you know? Explaining what's been happening with my life. And every time I'm asked, I get sad um, because I know that I won't be in the series anymore, right? Um, I won't be in his into her season two. And I don't want to like... Um, you know, spoil anything. So, yes, I am being recasted as L Luna. I played L Luna for season one of his into her, and for season two, I won't be. Um, I'm sure another great actor will fill my shoes, will fill that character. And I know you guys are gonna love it and she's gonna bring like another another flavor for you guys to eat up on, you know um, And I honestly know that Everyone is gonna do amazing. I am so sad I'm so sad that I won't be able to be with them anymore And the reason why well, let's start with the beginning. I want to start in the beginning, right in 2019 before the pandemic I asked someone who I love dearly if I should study abroad and, you know, what's going to happen to me. Um, what's going to happen to my job, what's going to happen with my career. It, it came to the conclusion that it will be best for me that I start studying. The production knew about it, the production knew my plans on going abroad, but then the pandemic happened and so I got to study online and I got to act as El Luna for season one and it was one of the best experience of my life um, yeah uh, come season two see it was harder with the scheduling cause everything was happening in the pandemic and it you, you know how hard it is um, to do anything during the pandemic so we, we weren't really sure with what was happening I just want to say the first ever schedule for taping was supposed to be on November um, the whole month of November and then the whole month of January um, first cycle and then second cycle um, that was the first schedule but COVID happened, right? COVID um, some people tested positive and that delayed the filming for his into her right and so that was the first schedule and then other people had conflicting schedules as well the second schedule was on december that didn't happen as well because of the same reasons um conflicting schedules and covid so um i decided to go to new york um for that month and go back when things are kind of okay already you know i i am willing 100 percent to go back for his into her like 100 percent like i will do my job do my bestest to go there so my flight going back was january 8th and i had to do quarantine and this is like this is the third um reschedule right so i had to go back January 8th and then do quarantine and then go taping straight after. I was so happy because I'm going to be able to be in this um, season 2 because it, it was it was looking kind of rocky even though I was in the teaser um, back in December. We did shoot uh, this teaser back in December just for a day. Um, it was looking kind of rocky, I didn't know where it was going. During quarantine, I was so ready, I was so ready to go. I was so ready to go. And we were already like talking about 
um, clothes, what we're gonna bring for um, the lock-in. And I was already talking about how I wanted to be roommates with Vivery. When I got out, um, it, it became quiet and I was like, oh, this is weird. I was getting the feeling that I wouldn't be able to be in his into her season two because everything went quiet when I got out of quarantine. We were told that now this is wh what happened. This is what really happened because of COVID again. Um, and I fully understand. I fully, fully understand. And I'm not blaming anyone. It is no one's fault. It's just things weren't aligning. The stars weren't aligning. It was the fault in our stars, right? It needed to be rescheduled to February. We needed a 10-day quarantine in a hotel. Early February, 10 days after that, and then we're gonna go to lock-in. But the thing is, I already had a flight booked to go to school in um, Brisbane on the 20th of February, and that's because I've been locked out of Australia for two years, you know. I, I haven't I've been doing online for two years and I couldn't I couldn't risk not being able to go study on campus. You know, I couldn't risk it. So I booked a flight on February 20 because I thought we would be done by then, or at least almost done by then. But with the new schedule, it just couldn't happen. Like I was I was telling them you can overtime me. You can overtime me. I will work as much as I can to make this happen. But logistically speaking, it just wasn't gonna happen. You know, it was hard. It was hard for everyone. It was hard. Two days later that that happened, when everyone found out that it wasn't gonna work out, two days later I found out I was being recasted. And this was like the hardest moment of my life because I was, I worked so hard. I worked so hard. I was going through a lot during season one and I worked so hard for that. And I'm not blaming anyone. I love everyone. I love the production. I love the whole concept of it all. I love everyone with all my heart. I'm not blaming anyone. It's just the fault in our stars, you know? It's like... I worked so hard on season one, filming that, that was hard. I, I just thought I could be, I could act as Elle for another season and, you know, um, be more confident in a way, show a more dynamic character for her, show you guys what else I can give you because that's all that I want, I want to give to you guys as much as I can, but the stars were not aligning. You know what I mean? Like they were not aligning. It was just not happening. And I was praying so hard. I was praying like, please like make it happen. I couldn't just give up my studies because I worked so hard. Also on that, I worked so hard on maintaining everything and balancing everything, but alas. I had to choose education. As much as it hurts to give up that character, I thought to myself, I had to study because I value studying so much. I don't know if you guys know, but I do value studying so much. And I was talking, I was talking to, I know, I know it's going to be so hard to see such a discontinuity in the series like i feel like i i feel like it's my i feel like it's going to be my fault with all the you know with the headaches i didn't want to cause any headaches i didn't want to cause anything it's just and i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i really am i really wanted to portray that character again I was just hoping that the schedule would align and that um, and that you know things would work out I will be able to do it but 
After three schedule changes because of the pandemic, it just didn't work out. And now I'm pretty sad that I won't be able to, you know, it's sad, you know, I, it's sad, like, I <laughs> acknowledge that it's mostly just sad on my part, um, but I guess sometimes life throws rocks at you, and you just have to, like, deal with it sometimes there's a reason why i think there is a reason why i'm sorry for crying i don't want a pity party but um i just want to tell my story and what this, what what happened and i just want to answer now, I'll, I'll be honest i didn't expect to be recasted i thought because there were there were talks of um filming me just on a zoom call if ever things don't work out when i was in new york like pretending that i was away or abroad i thought that was gonna happen but but i just feel like it like who am i who am i for them to change this to change the script who am i you know what i mean like i'm i'm just me you know also logistically speaking that was impossible to do we were almost going to film like what like you know it was impossible to to make a drastic change like that especially with what i know is going to happen in the season it was just impossible i hope you guys weren't expecting drama or like a video saying i'm mad i feel betrayed this isn't what's supposed to happen I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why they recasted me. I hope you guys weren't expecting that. Because at the end of the day, I think I've come to the conclusion that the stars were just not aligned. And just like the book, it is the fault of our stars. And somehow, sooner or later, I will understand why it had to be done why the universe, why God had to make that happen. A lesson, perhaps. Yeah, that's what happened. And I don't blame anyone. It is no one's fault. Please don't go blaming anyone. And please, your new L with open arms, because I know she will do amazingly. I know she will. But please... Don't forget about El Luna season one. And I hope you guys won't. I know a lot of you guys knew me because of his into her. And now that I'm not in that series anymore, I hope you guys won't stop the journey that you are with, here with me. I'm so sorry if I've disappointed anyone. I hope you guys don't leave me. Because, you know, I'm not in that show anymore. And if you guys want to, then that's fine. I was just hoping that maybe you wouldn't. Because we bonded like friends. And it would be sad to see you guys go. Because I'm not in the show anymore. But, again, I would understand if that's the case. And... Yeah, I don't blame anyone again. I just want you to guys, I just want you to know that it's no one's fault. It's really no one's fault and in no under in no circumstance that this wouldn't have ha happened because the pandemic really screwed us over. Yeah, that's the reason why the pandemic. Overall, it's the pandemic because without the changes of schedule I think I would have been your L for season 2 but because the schedules were changing and I had to go to university because the borders opened up you know 
education is very important to me you guys education and I'm sure it is very important to you guys so I, I hope you guys don't ever give up or don't ever stop loving learning and I've texted everyone um, and they know how I feel and I've expressed my gratitude because at the end of the day I'm very honored and I'm very privileged and I'm very thankful and I'm very grateful for the trust that I have been given to play that role for season one and honestly to me that is a great experience that no one can ever take away from me and honestly I'm just happy that I was in season one and I was part of this amazing series um, I have no regrets although while I was reading the script I was already imagining how I would do it myself I don't want to I don't want this video to be too long I know I got emotional for a bit I'm very sorry for that I'm very sorry I'm a very emotional being um, but yeah that's the reason why I was recasted as El Luna and that was just me explaining to you point blank what happened that's just what happened um, and it's no one's fault it's truly no one's fault it was in it wasn't in anyone's hands um, and I don't have anything but love and respect for the entirety of his into her and I think it's such an amazing thing and I'm so glad that I'm a part of something or was a part of something that a great community is enjoying so thank you so much for watching me as El Luna in season one I hope you enjoy season two I know I will I know I will be supporting and watching and please do support your new El Luna because I know she will do amazingly so without further ado I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's been here and in the journey in my journey of his into her and I hope you guys don't leave don't leave me <laughs> I hope you guys don't leave because you know I'm not in season 2 but if you do it's fine and yeah with all that being said I just want to say I love you and this is your El Luna of season 1 signing off bye